friend or villain? Most of you probably heard the term cholesterol. Uh, your products on the TV are, are marketed to reduce cholesterol. But is it a friend or a villain? What does cholesterol do and why does it rise? Cholesterol does have a number of very, very important purposes. It's not just the cholesterol we eat, our body manufactures cholesterol. And it's got a lot of reasons it's there for. Now, Dr. Uh, Sherry Rodders, Rogers, I love her quote. Cholesterol is absolutely essential for human life. If you had no cholesterol in your body right now, you would drop down dead instantaneously. You could not stay alive if you had no cholesterol in your body. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. So what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is an antioxidant. It basically protects your body from damage and inflammation. That's what it's for, it's to protect you. It's like the emergency services responding to a distress call. Think of it a bit like the fire brigade or the police or an ambulance. It is an emergency service. It's there trying to protect you, trying to protect you from damage, injury, toxins, uh, inflammation, infection, trauma, and so on. It's there to protect you. Now I hear all the time when I say that to patients and oh, sometimes I'm up to a health program, people go, ah, but there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. That is complete nonsense, which was manufactured in 1992 because all these people were on cholesterol lowering regimes and heart disease was actually increasing. And what they come up with was, well, you've got your good cholesterol and your bad cholesterol. And what they refer to is your LDL cholesterol and HDL cholesterol. Anyone who says LDL cholesterol and HDL cholesterol are talking nonsense because they are not cholesterol. They are low density lipoproteins and high density lipoprotein. It's essentially, cholesterol is waterproof and it can't travel through your blood very well. So what you have is a protein molecule which grabs hold of it and a few other things and takes it around the body. Now LDL takes it to an injury, so if you break your leg, it LDL picks up the cholesterol and it takes it straight to that site of damage. If you've got a burn or infection, that's what it does, it carries the cholesterol around. HDL then takes the same cholesterol molecule, it's the same cholesterol it's carrying around, it's no different. It takes that same cholesterol molecule and it takes it back to the liver to be cleaned and reprocessed. So it's not cholesterol, okay? Now, if they are high, now we can debate the whole thing about they're high, but let's say your cholesterol is like that, and all of a sudden, your cholesterol does that, we've got to say, well, why is your body producing five times more repair hormone? Why has your cholesterol gone up? So it could be that actually you've just had a car accident, that would make sense, your body's trying to repair, you could be suffering from a burn, you might have just got over pneumonia, well of course your cholesterol's going to go up, it's trying to try to repair your body. If it goes up for no reason, um, then there's something we need to investigate and find out more. I mean, it could be that you're getting carbon monoxide poison, it could be anything. So cholesterol is not the villain, it can give us some clues though sometimes. So as I said, if your cholesterol is high for what we consider it would be for you, and there's a lot of debate about numbers, then we need to really get in and say why is, why is your body producing so much repair hormone? Why is it producing it? You know, if you went home tonight and you saw 25 ambulances outside a row of houses, you'd be pretty concerned. You wouldn't say they've obviously injured someone, you wouldn't say the fire brigade caused fires, you would say why, is, why are they there, there's something quite serious. So. Anyone who says good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, no, there's one type of cholesterol, and all these do is they carry the same cholesterol molecule around the body.